Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to worship this morning. Um, just uh, want to welcome uh, and thank the musicians for being here with us this morning and, uh, and for their music today, their special music. We have a couple of um, things in the change in the service in that um, during the during the offertory and the offering prayers, they will be extended. Um, we are doing uh, prayers for the memorials that have been given uh, in the past year, and then also remembering uh, the saints who have died this past year. And so that will be after the offertory prayer in your service, and uh, just ask you to make note of that. Otherwise, uh, Pastor Chris will be out of out of the office for the next next two weeks, uh, so you're stuck with me, and <laughs> so um, I'll uh, I'll do my best not to get lost. Uh, and uh, he will he will be back uh, back here uh, November. I think it's November 20th or 21st. Um, we'll be back in the pulpit. So um, keep him in your prayers, and we uh, and grant him safe travels uh, as as he has some time off. Otherwise, uh, those are the announcements I have this morning. Um, I'd ask you then to turn to the confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. Have mercy on us, O God. We confess that we have sinned against you and against our neighbor. We have built walls instead of tables. We have turned away the stranger. We have sought glory for ourselves and treasured that which is not satisfied. Help us to love as you love, to welcome those whom you sent, to treasure mercy and justice. Turn us from our ways to your ways and free us to serve those in need. Amen. God, who makes all things new, forgives your sins for Jesus' sake and remembers them no more. Lift up your heads and your hearts. Yours is the kingdom of God. Amen.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion, in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, to know the inexpressible joy you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Our first reading for today comes to us from Isaiah chapter 25. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on the mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we will read responsively from Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord and all that is in it, the world and those who dwell therein. For the Lord has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord and who may stand in God's holy place? Those of innocent hands and purity of heart who do not swear on God's being, nor do they pledge by what is false. 
they shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of their salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek you, O Lord, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? Truly the Lord of hosts is the King of our second reading comes to us from Revelations chapter 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 11th chapter. Glory to you, o Lord. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping. He was greatly disturbed in spirit and, mo and deeply moved. And he said, where have you laid him? And they said to him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, see how he loved him? But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was lying against it. And Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, there's already a stench because he has been dead four days. And Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took the stone away. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I know that you always hear me, and I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they might believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, let him go. The Gospel of the Lord.
any young people watching at home to come to the screen for our children's sermon today. I just wanted to talk about um, what actually is a saint. Today is All Saints Day. So that's kind of a weird word that we use in a lot of different ways. Um, I googled it, as you do, when you need to find out what something is. Um, and Google tells me, a saint is a person who is recognized as having an exceptional degree of holiness, likeness, or closeness to God. So someone who is like extra awesome, usually well known, a world changer maybe. Um, so can anybody think of any saints? Um, an obvious one, we just heard a story from St. John. So Jesus' disciples, the ones that like actually walked around with Jesus back in the day, um, we call them saints because they were pretty close to God, like literally they met him as a man. That's pretty cool. Um, any other saints? Any ideas from the audience here? Who? We're all saints. Oh, we're all saints. Why do you say that? Gloria. Yeah, we're the children of God. So um, I uh, have um, a, an activity, and there's no little kids here, so if I could invite Alexandra, the big kid, to come forward. Behold the image of God, Saint Alexandra! Behold the image of God, Saint Alexandra! There's a Jewish proverb that says, before every person, there marches an angel proclaiming, behold the image of God. And Gloria, you are right. We are all made in God's image. We are all have an exceptional degree of likeness and closeness to God because we are made in God's image. Um, and because of that, we are all saints. And as saints, we are called to love. And by loving anybody, we're changing the world. So we may not get as famous as St. Francis or St. John or Mother Teresa, uh, but we don't do it for the fame. We, we do it for the love. Um, so thanks, Alexandra. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for all of us here today, the saints that you have chosen to bring your love to the world. Help us to shine your light and to know that we are made in your image. Amen. about who are we as saints of God? How do we understand that? What is that that goes so against things that we hear about, <laughs> hear about humans, hear about what it is to be human? Um, you know, when I was when I was a, a young boy, the, my dad and, you know, he, my dad was a, a drill instructor in World War II for a while. And um, so he believed in punishment and uh, as, a, as a way of uh, getting, getting you to change. And um, one day his, his buddy was with him and I don't know what I had did, I had done to, to upset him, but I'd done something. Uh, and dad said, come here and get what's coming to you. And his friends, and I came. And his friends said to him, why did he do that? Why would he come to you like that? And my dad said, I have no idea. <laughs> but it was the way my dad had been trained. My dad had been raised in that, that sense of, you know, if you do something wrong, you get punished. And, you know, it took him a long time to let go of that, to see that no, 
we have a God who loves us and forgives us even when we have done wrong, even when we are in the midst of despair, in the midst of pain, in the midst of despair. God loves us. God wants to be with us. I ran across a quote from uh, Jürgen Moltmann, who was a um, German theologian, uh, written a, a couple of fairly famous books when I was in seminary. Um, and the, his quote, the quote, the thing he said was, you know, you are, you are not loved because you are beautiful. You are beautiful and good because you are loved. Think about that. We are good. We are filled with joy, with hope, with all those positive things, not because we deserve them, but because we are loved by God. We are loved by the one who created us, who made us, who made us in God's image. Think about that as you walk out these doors today. To think each day about what it is to be created in the image of God. To be blessed with that love. That love that created you and said, boy, this is good. This is really good. You know, so many of us don't hear that enough. To hear that, you know, they're really good. I enjoy meeting the children when, when they're out pushing the children around the grounds. The little ones, the year to three year olds, the year and two year olds. Because I love looking them in the eye and saying, you are good. You're a child of God. Because I don't believe we can hear that enough. I, I simply don't think we can hear that enough. That you are a child of God. You are created in God's image. And that is good. That is very good. Today we, we celebrate gifts that have been given by some of God's saints and, and dedicate them as memorials here to Morning Star, knowing that the love which they sh had for you, for all of Morning Star, continues to be with us. We also take time to remember saints who have died during this last year, to remember them not just because of, of, of our image of them and our wanting them to know we think of them. We do that so that we may know that their love and God's love for us continues every day. And we can count on that. And that's why I enjoy this celebration of All Saints Sunday, this opportunity to celebrate God's love for us, for all of us, to celebrate the hope that we have in God's forgiveness, in God's mercy, God's grace, God's love, the joy of knowing of knowing that love and experiencing it with one another. 
It's a marvelous thing. It's a miraculous thing, I believe. So I encourage you today to take time to go home, look in the mirror, and I would encourage you to do it this whole week. Just look in the mirror and say, you are holy. You are created in the image of God. And God loves, God's love surrounds you this day. Start your day out that way. My guess, it will make a difference for you. Walk in that love, knowing that you are indeed the image of God. Amen. Please stand and join in singing our hymn of the day. Join together as one, as God's saints, we proclaim our faith in the, in the Apostles' Creed, the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only saints, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried, and he ascended into hell. The third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He ascended at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Eternal God, 
you hold firm amid changes of the changes of this world. Hear us now as we pray for the church, for the world, and for everyone in need. Merciful God, we give thanks for all missionaries who have brought your message of hope to new communities and wiped away and wiped away tears, especially, especially those that we have known and that we do know doing this special ministry. Continue to raise up courageous people to share your gospel of hope. Hear us, O oh God. Creating God, we praise you for abundant harvest and the goodness of creation. Create communities of care for your earth so that all land, water, and soil will be celebrated and cherished by future generations of saints. Hear us, O oh God. God of peace, we give you thanks for nations of peace that serve as a refuge for all those homelands that are afflicted with violence. Strengthen those who continue to work for peace and support all veterans who carry the scars of violence and war. Hear us, O oh God. God of healing, we give you thanks for healthcare workers who labor around the clock to answer cries for help. Bring wholeness to all who struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, addiction, and, who all, and all who long for healing in any way, especially Jan and Lowell, Ken, Virgin, Eunice, Bev, Don, and those we name, name now before you. Hear us, O oh God. God of justice, we praise you for, feeding, for the feeding ministries, especially remember Table Grace, for all the meals that bring people together for nourishment and for fellowship. Bless chefs and bakers, servers, dishwashers, communion assistants, and meal ministry coordinators. Hear us, O oh God. God of the ages, we give you thanks for the saints of this congregation who have inspired, challenged, loved, and taught us. Wipe away our tears and lead us by their example until we feast together on your holy mountain. Hear us, O oh God. God, our protection and strength, we entrust you to you, all for whom we pray. Remain with us always through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us join in sharing the gift of that peace with one another as you are comfortable doing so.
Let us pray. O Lord Most High, we give you thanks for all thy faithful servants who in their lives have witnessed a good faith and a good life. And for all dear to us whom you have taken to your presence, grant us grace to follow them as they followed Christ and bring us with them to those things which the eye cannot see nor the ear hear which you have prepared for those who love you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed and dedicated be these memorials to the honor and glory in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hallowed be the pew Bibles and youth Bibles given as a memorial to Bob Sweetwood. Blessed be the baptismal font and decanter given in memory of Barb and Don Liebernet. And blessed be mission support for preschool and playground and the playground that was given in memory of Jan Morris. Let us pray remembering all saints and all baptized people of God. Grant unto us a knowledge of your will that we may truly exemplify the life that we profess. Assist us in the use of these memorials in our church and, remind, and as a reminder of all the saints who have preceded us. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. we recognize that we are all called to service in your church. Enable us as we gather to hear your word and share in the victory feast of the Lamb to know fully what it means to be here and to live as your saints in the world. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We thank you for the death and resurrection of your son. Give the dying and those that mourn the confidence to believe that all who have faith in him will be raised by your power. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the oppressed and the persecuted, for the suffering and the ill. Give them inexpressible joys you have prepared for them who love you. Lord, in your mercy. We give you thanks for all who have gone before us and who are at rest. For the known and unknown, saints of the church, we especially remember with thanksgiving those of this congregation who have departed this year, as well as these friends and loved ones we now name before you in our hearts and aloud. Don Liebernack. Tony Negro. Bill Palmer. Gary Quast. Fred Zabel. <coughs> Diane Zakaris. <coughs> Lord, keep alive in us. When we shall again be joined with all the saints in light, by your Holy Spirit, bring us to that day when we shall inherit our place with you in heavenly peace, where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints. To you all glory and honor is you, my God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in your, in your church, church in, in earth, earth and in heaven, heaven forever, forever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God. Through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death in the grave and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels and the, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink, saying this cup is the new covenant from <clears throat> in my blood. Do this in the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A feast of love is offered here for you and for all saints. Invite those of you who are watching us at home to, to join us in sharing in, that, in our Lord's Supper. Uh, and those of you who wish to come forward, um, we will have the communion kits here for you at the altar. Um, we're at the altar rail, and uh, for those who have already uh, taken a kit from the Narthex, you, you're um, welcome to then share in that supper as we do that together um, once everyone has received the, the communion kit. Come, all is prepared.
Let's pray. Blessed Jesus, at this table you have been for us both host and meal. Now send us forth to extend our tables and to share your gifts until that day we all feast together in your heavenly banquet. Amen. God, the beginning and the end, who has written your name in the book of life, bless and keep you in grace and peace from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. I forgot to have you stand up, but you can't sit when you're singing for all the saints or when the saints go... <laughs> Led on by the saints before us. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good to see you.